Brendan with do-it-yourself girlfriend and today I'm gonna show you how to make a wood round serving tray this is super easy to put together and it'll be perfect for the holidays coming up so first I need to run a couple errands first stop is Home Depot they have 17 inch wood rounds for less than ten dollars and most hardware stores should carry these I also grabbed two basic handles for three dollars a piece next stop is Hobby Lobby this step is optional, but I'd like to add a design to my tray, so I'm going to grab a stencil. I'm also going to pick up some white stencil paint. They also have a kit for $8 that comes with the tape and the utensils you'll need. You will also need a drill, some sandpaper, a wood stain of your choice, an old rag, and a protective finish. So make sure that you have all your materials and let's get started. So first, let's break out our sandpaper and wood round. The surface of your wood round should already be smooth and sanded, but you'll want to make sure to go over the edges with your sandpaper. Next, you'll need your old rag and wood stain. First, you'll dip your rag in the stain and then apply it to your wood round following the direction of the wood. If you'd like your stain to be darker, then you can set it out to dry for a couple hours and then apply another layer. But if not, then set it out to dry for the time your stain requires and then we'll go on to the next step. Next up, if you'd like to add a design, this is the time to do it. I'm going to use the sponge roller that came in my kit, so first I'll empty some of the stencil paint into my tray. You'll want to center your stencil in the middle of your wood round and then apply some stencil tape to hold it into place. And you probably don't need to use as much tape as I did, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Next you'll want to dip your sponge roller in the paint and then roll it out on the tray so that you don't have too much paint on your sponge. And then you will carefully roll the sponge over your stencil, making sure not to go outside of the edge. Now you can carefully lift the tape to remove your stencil and then wait for your paint to dry. Once your stencil paint is dry, you can grab your protective finish. If you're using a spray, you'll want to shake it up really good first and then apply a layer to your entire wood round, spraying about 12 inches away. And after that, you will once again want to set your wood round out to dry. Allow your finish to dry for the required time, and then grab your drill and your handles. You want to align your handles with your design, so center them and then pull them apart to the edge. Then grab a tape measure to make sure that each of your handles are an inch away from the edge of your wood round. Now I will use an eighth inch bit to create pilot holes for the screws that came with my handles. And make sure you only go in about half an inch deep because your wood round is only one inch thick. And for your final step, you'll want to switch out your bit for one that fits into the head of the screws that came with your handles, and then use your drill to secure the screws into place. And that's about all there is to it. Enjoy your new serving tray and thanks for watching.